Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is August 1st. This episode is related to Ehang. In this episode, we are going to share our observations and comments about Ehang related activities in Mexico and general aviation development in China. First, about EH216 exhibition at Talentland 2022 in Mexico by Ehang's local partner Air Mobility. Recently on July 26, Air Mobility submitted a Twitter post about the event. Here is the post. The post says. A complete success Talentland 2022 of Talent Republic in Expo Guadalajara. Thank you Art Joregui for the invitation together with Pixel Drone MX. We reached plus 26,000 attendees who today know a new alternative of mobility. Exclusive and sustainable with the EH216 of Ehang. Next, a bit about the Talentland 2022 conference. Talentland 2022 is a technology and startup conference for trends and development in internet business and technology fields such as social networks, cloud and cybersecurity, AI, autonomous robotics and industry 5.0, etc. It is noted, for this year's conference, there were more than 26,000 face-to-face attendees, and more than 2,100,000 unique online users. Next, about Ehang Partner Air Mobility's role. Air Mobility is the official distributor of Ehang in Mexico and Latin America, processing all the permits and regulatory processes of the different countries for the operation of the equipment. In Indonesia, Ehang's local partner Prestige Aviation has been playing an effective role in securing trial flight permit and requesting the local aviation authorities to work on the relevant passenger carrying flight permit and commercial permit. In Mexico, Air Mobility is expected to play the similar role. Now, Air Mobility has purchased an unit of EH216 AAV. The next step is for them to apply for local test flight permits and start the trial flight process. Next, about China's general aviation coverage by CCTV, and the country's general aviation entering a period of rapid development. General aviation refers to the use of civil aircraft to engage in civil aviation activities other than public air transport, commonly known as low-altitude flight activities. On the evening of July 31, the CCTV released a special report on general aviation for more than 10 minutes, covering general aviation and related industries, low-altitude airspace management reforms in Hunan, Anhui, Jiangxi, Sichuan, Hainan and other places, new forms of drone applications, and private-slash-entertainment-slash-self-use flights. Next, let's see the highlights. Domestic General Aviation Recent Coverage by CCTV in H1 2022, general aviation flights up 11.8% versus industry-wide down 38.4%. The report pointed out that in the first half of this year, the industry-wide transport aviation flight hours decreased by 38.4% compared with the same period last year, but general aviation flights increased by 11.8%. General aviation in China has entered a rapid development period. In addition, the report stated that in recent years, the development of the country's general aviation has entered a period of rapid development. 14th Five-Year Plan for General Aviation Development Recently, CAAC also issued the 14th Five-Year Plan, which specifies the plans and goals to achieve for the general aviation industry. 100 Low-Altitude Tourist Routes According to the report, the country has opened more than 100 low-altitude tourist routes. Note, each route may be corresponding to a flight operation site. These 100 tourist flight sites may currently use helicopters for providing flight services with high pilot costs and operation costs, and may be Ehang's targets for conversion to its customers after the EH216 type certification. More than 400 aviation flight camps. Note, some of these flight camps such as hot balloon camps may also be Ehang's potential customers. UAV application scope and fields constantly expanding. The application scope and fields of UAVs are constantly expanding, and they have gradually replaced human pilot aircraft in agricultural plant protection, power line inspection and other fields. Long upstream and downstream industry chain. Input-output ratio, 1 to 10. Employment-driven ratio, 1 to 12. Mali, Deputy Director of the General Aviation Department of the Transportation Department of the Civil Aviation Administration of China, said in the report. The development of general aviation is an important starting point to promote the development of strategic emerging industries. General aviation has both the attributes of production tools and consumer goods, with diversified businesses and a wide range of operating scenarios. For example, 
general aviation has unique advantages in the fields of emergency rescue and disaster relief, medical rescue, etc. It also plays an important role in promoting consumer entertainment and serving industrial and agricultural production. CCTV report further added. In addition, the general aviation industry has a long chain and a strong driving effect, and the upstream and downstream of the industry are linked together. The input-output ratio of the general aviation industry is 1 to 10, and the employment-driven ratio is 1 to 12. Becoming new economic growth point and consumption hotspot. The long upstream and downstream industry chain has huge potential for cultivating new economic growth points and consumption hotspot in the country. It is good to see that the rapid development environment for general aviation and UAVs is good for Ehang's business in China. Note, this channel provides update and info on Chinese stocks, technologies, and culture. Currently, mainly on Ehang. With respect to stock market, Ehang and other US listed Chinese stocks may have negatives and risks. You must perform your own due diligence, and make your own decisions. Investing involves risks, you can lose all or part of your investment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.